ambassador to uh, the uh, United States from uh, the uh, great state of Nigeria. He's given us some information uh, about uh, Nigeria, dealing with trade relationships, politics, and economic development. And uh, Dr. Let us see if we can, again, move back into trade and economic developments and to talk about some special projects that uh, you might have uh, underway at this particular time. Well, there, there are quite a number. Um, we, like I said in the earlier se segment, we, we have an economy that is uh, that's be oil dependent. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is to diversify the base of our economy and make sure that we, we trade in non-oil exports. We are inviting um, foreign direct investment to Nigeria, and we're inviting companies to come and set up mm -hmm. in Nigeria to trade with our people. Like I said, we have this tremendous advantage in trading mm -hmm. with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Our population, 150 million, 20% mm -hmm. of the whole African continent, 10% mm -hmm. of the entire black, black people in the whole world, we simply can't beat our market. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we believe that once we, we, we once companies that want to do business with us, mm -hmm. when they do come there, in terms of market, in terms mm -hmm. of marketability, in terms of the av availability of profits, mm -hmm. There's, there, there's hardly any country, there, in fact, there's virtually no country that can compare with Nigeria. I'll give you an example. When we privatized our telecommunication industry, mm -hmm. unfortunately, some American companies that would have come, mm -hmm. they said there was problems in Niger Delta and all that. Mm -hmm. A few of them came, but I tell you today, those telecommunication industries, mm -hmm. MTN, for example, from South Africa, mm -hmm. they will tell you they have never made such profits within mm -hmm. such a short time ever in their mm -hmm. lives. That's telecommunications. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have never made such profit mm -hmm. at such a short time, any time in their mm -hmm. lives. And, and it's still growing because of the market. Mm -hmm. Everybody now carries around mobile phones in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Everybody. The, the land phone is almost mm -hmm. passing out. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with, that, that, that's been an attraction. Mm -hmm. That reason we are major U.S. companies, mm -hmm. particularly in this distributive and retail tree, mm -hmm. like Walmart, now want to come to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They've been in my office once, we, we discuss, they are making a, a, arrangements, and mm -hmm. when they are ready, we sort out the final details, and they'll be in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what they've told me, they want to be in Lagos and Abuja. Mm -hmm. You simply can't beat the rich mm -hmm. because of the market in Nigeria. So uh, we, we are waiting for them. And they're not the only company. Many banks, many, I, I, I'll give you other examples. I came back from Nigeria on Monday, mm -hmm. and what was what they are going to do? I was on the maiden flight mm -hmm. of Continental Airlines mm -hmm. that was going to Nigeria, that was already um, beginning a daily flight mm -hmm. from Houston, Texas to Lagos mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. every day. And the, the very first flight was almost packed full mm -hmm. to oh, yeah. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And the return flight was almost packed full. Uh, in December, I was, uh, I was also with United Airlines going on, on, on four flights a week from Washington to Accra to Lagos. Mm -hmm. So within the space of um, uh, nine months, two U.S. airlines right. yeah. began operating Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And that, that started uh, some two years ago. Mm -hmm. And right now, they, they, they started operating from, there, from Atlanta to Lagos mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. on the 777. Mm -hmm. And four times a week, mm -hmm. they fly from New York through Accra mm -hmm. to Lagos. So, and there are many airlines still wanted to, to, mm -hmm. to be with, oh, to, yes. to come with mm -hmm. us. So, uh, we, we, we're working on details about that. So, many companies in the U.S., because they now have confidence in the government of the, Dr. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, because we created envir an environment conducive to trade, because they know the availability of the Nigerian market, mm -hmm. many U.S. companies now want to trade with Nigeria. And on our own part, we are creating the environment for them mm -hmm. to come, and we 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 doing the best we can. There are other areas in which we want to we want to we want to we are, we are um, exploring opportunities for trade with mm -hmm. the United States, especially the areas of agri. Mm -hmm. they, they're there, and Nigerian embassy in the in uh, in April or in around March or April, mm -hmm. we intend to hold a road show, an mm -hmm. agricultural road show, mm -hmm. whereby we invite uh, U.S potential U.S. investors who are interested in agri agriculture mm -hmm. to come and meet their Nigerian counterparts mm -hmm. with the support of the U.S. Exim Bank mm -hmm. will be there, they are supporting us, to, to be able to um, give them the necessary guarantees 
to trade and invest in agricultural potential of Nigeria. That's the kind of thing we want to do. When we finish that, we want to uh, emphasize infrastructure, okay. you know, road, rail, and all that. I want American investors to mm -hmm. come and meet their Nigerian counterparts with the support of French, top level financial institutions, mm -hmm. World Bank, US Exim Bank, mm -hmm. to be able to establish trading contact mm -hmm. with Nigeria at, at various levels. So we, we, are, we, we are creating all kinds of uh, we, uh, linkages mm -hmm. between Nigeria and the US companies mm -hmm. to be able to trade with Nigeria. Because mm -hmm. for us in Africa, I keep saying to my US friends, we don't want AIDS, we want trade. Mm -hmm.